Hey everyone, so I really wanted to provide some more clarity on my post where you see me um, in my hospital gown. I didn't anticipate as many responses as I got, like, but I should have known better because it's COVID. Okay, this piece of got me nuts. Okay, but it's COVID-19 and I should have expected people to be concerned. So let me break down what happened. I'll be as quick as I can be, but really it's a super long story that started from 2019. I'm gonna give y'all this full story actually time keep watching and keep listening all right i'll try not to be as long as i could be but anyway so in the end of 2019 so let's just say like maybe october november i started getting um asthma like symptoms and i was diagnosed with chronic sinusitis and asthma okay that was at the beginning of many misdiagnoses well not many a few um i was also misdiagnosed with hyperreactive airway disease which is a lung disease when I think about it, my symptoms started in July of 2019, but it was just a cough. Destiny, if you're watching this, do you remember when we went to Miami and I was just coughing randomly? I just kept coughing when we were inside the hotel. So that's where it really first started. But anyway, fast forward. Yes, I had these misdiagnoses and um, the medications that they had me taken just wasn't working. And that's how I knew it was a misdiagnosis. So I went to different doctors for different things. So I went to the emergency room one time and they told me to, well, I went to the emergency room a couple of times. I'm, I told y'all I was gonna give y'all the short story. I can, listen, there's no short version of this truly, but I'll just say one of the times I went to the emergency room in the end of 2019, they told me I need to get a pulmonologist. So my pulmonologist, the lung doctor, he's the one who misdiagnosed me with the, the lung conditions. I truly did not have a lung condition. But then I, when I realized that the medication he was giving me was making me feel worse, like I, I lost my voice from the medication. You, so if you watch me on YouTube, you probably remember when I did not have no voice, child. That was so hard. Um, seeing him, I ended up seeing an ENT. My friend put me on to, my, to an ENT and he was really good. He was really, really good. Um, he ended up doing my surgery I had surgery on my sinuses back in July 2020. Um, the ENT thought that it was just a, a stubborn chronic sinusitis. So he got rid of the tissue that was me from breathing. And that helped. I, now I can breathe through my nose with no issue. However, I was still having sinus symptoms like post nasal drip, which is the worst. And that was causing a cough. So I'm like, what is the here then he recommended that i um see the allergist see an allergist so i already had allergy tests done with my primary care doctor with no results and with my um pulmonologist right so i'm just like oh, fine i'll see an allergist so when i saw the allergist she told me that i had dust allergies indoor allergies so that explained a lot like that explained why i was coughing so much in the hotel in miami because it was dusty <laughs> but um also because um i work from home and um during covid time 20 i was in the house more than usual like i'm already home a lot but then i was home more than usual so um i had to you know get like an air purifier and things like that and that really helped me as well but i was still having symptoms so um it took me a while to realize that i was having symptoms when i ate certain things and um that was really really difficult because i had to like have a food diary for me to really know what food was triggering certain things and i the only reason why i decided to have a food diaries because i started having acid reflux and i couldn't figure out why am i getting sick all of a sudden what is going on with me i'm healthy i'm healthy I was getting reflux in the form of a cough, which I didn't even know was a thing. Apparently it's a thing, it's called LPR. I'm not gonna try to sound out the, the acronym right now, but it's LPR, look it up. You may have it if you have a chronic cough and you can't figure out where it's from. So, and if it's not COVID, right? So, okay, and I had multiple COVID tests. So that was never, I never had it as far as I know. So, um, yeah, but my ENT thought that I may have that. So. Um, 
told me to like monitor my food. And that's why I first started the food diary, right? And yeah, and um, the thing is, I, it wouldn't be immediate. After I eat something, I wouldn't immediately have a reaction. So that's why I would just have to really be careful of what I'm eating. So I started eating pretty clean, but like I cleaned out my diet even more. Unfortunately, I lost so much weight, y'all. You know, I did not have no weight to lose in the first place. So that, that has been really sad for me, you know. <laughs> but, um, so maybe two months ago or so, maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. I made myself a coconut milkshake with coconut milk from the can, okay? All I had was coconut milk, blueberries, I think maybe some dates or something sweet. I don't know. Either way, the minute I finished drinking that smoothie, coughing, coughing hard. Started coughing really, really hard. I pulled out my nebulizer, which I thought I had asthma. I had a nebulizer that I bought online. Use that, it didn't work. A butyrol pump. Use that, that didn't work. Called 911. And um, I told them, listen, I don't want to go to the hospital. I just want y'all to give me some strong there. Open up my throat because I can't breathe properly and I'm wheezing. I can hear myself wheezing. Um, just breathing, I can hear it. So they, they did that. They told me that if I wasn't going to go to the hospital, that I got to make made me promise to go get an allergy test. I told them I had multiple allergy tests. They told me to get another one. Because allergies develop. So I'm like, okay, I'll go. And I and I did go. And in the that test told me that I had allergies. And I'm like, that explains so much. And then I also um went to a nutritionist who did um what do you call it? He did nutrition response testing on me, which is like I guess a lot of people would say it's like a woo-woo kind of technique, but it was on point and it, it pointed out that I had wheat allergies and that I had sinus issues. Mind you, I did not tell the doctor what issues I had first. So that's how I believe, that's how I know that I, I, I trust the, the methodology. Anyway, so I've been cutting out wheat as much as I can. Um, uh, unfortunately, most of these companies don't have its integrity they use the same machinery to handle wheat as well as other things. So if I eat other things that were exposed to wheat, I may have a reaction that happened to me um, not too long ago with another grain I was eating. And that's how I know, like, I just need to stay away from grains because they use the same machinery from grains. Plus, grains stay in the system for 90 days. So that's why, even though, even though I cut out wheat and grains for the most part, it takes 90 days to get out your system, so I'll still be having symptoms for 90 days, even though I don't eat any. Although, of course, the symptoms are going to, like, you know, ease ease down into, into nothing, hopefully. That's the, that's the aim. If you have a intolerance or allergy to grains or certain grains, you cut it out, and over 90 days, you'll notice that it'll, your symptoms will improve. So, um, yeah, it's not a switch. It's not going to just, so you're not going to just stop having the symptoms which is which is which kind of sucks that takes so long for the symptoms to go away but at the same time it's i i feel relieved knowing that that's how it takes so yesterday i had a endoscopy done which is basically when they put a camera inside of you i had endoscopy done on my stomach and my small intestines so they so they checked out my esophagus my stomach and my small intestines to make sure there's no damage done um, that was just a 15 minute procedure. I did not have surgery yesterday, but that was what that procedure was for to see if I had any damage done from the food allergies. So, um, no more coconut milk for me, unless I'm eating it cooked into something because I noticed it. I don't have a reaction when it's cooked into my food, but, um, no, no milkshakes basically with coconut milk and no more wheat. Yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, if there's anything else I need to share, I'll, I'll come back and I'll add it. But I think I have to turn this into an IGTV because this is super long. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I also did get a holistic doctor. The health store that I frequent, they recommended him to me. Amazing man, very lovely. Elder Jamaican man. And um, he follows Dr. Sebi. Um, with him he did a chelation so i cleansed my blood 
and I um, he also recommended that I take digestive enzymes when I eat foods and that's also helped a lot because um, for a while I was coughing after eating anything anything at all and that's that was a part of the LPR reflux and uh, enzymes helped the food leave my stomach faster so it wasn't causing any coughing so that's what I've been doing I'm still doing that um, that's pretty much it. Well, it has been pretty stressful I've been really optimistic because I know that um, I know what's wrong now and I know how to get better and it's not stopping me I'm still able to do anything that I need to do physically so um, yeah it's just that it's just I can't eat my cake like I, I have a I like cakes and donuts so I just haven't been able to eat those things um yeah but um other than that it was good thank you everybody for your concerns and your love and your well wishes <laughs> orders these orders are gonna get out to you i have about 200 orders to put out so bear with me thank you appreciate